everybody, welcome to episode two of turning Disney animal character things into humans, modern day, fancy, fun, yeah. So we did the Cheshire Cat for the first episode and today we are doing Stitch. I'm very excited. We are turning Stitch into more like human, girly, boss woman vibes. We're gonna do a cute eye look to represent Stitch. And I got my blazer to put on, and yeah, we're gonna have fun with it. Alrighty, so we're starting off with the Patrick Ta brow laminator thing, and this aqua liner in a beautiful shade of blue, and we're starting to do the eyebrows. So what I did is, because I got these bushy caterpillars on my face, I brushed them up and created the shape that I wanted them to be in, and then using an eyebrow brush and the aqua liner, I filled in my eyebrows. This is just like an inspiration. So basically the look is inspired by Stitch, not creating Stitch. Just wanted to make that clear. Because in the end, we look more like a ghost, to be honest. But we're just uh, filling in those beautiful brows. And honestly, blue eyebrows are definitely a look. So here are the shades that we're using in the Norvina palette. Norvina X... Anastasia Beverly Hills Volume 2, gorgeous palette. And then we use the P. Louise base. Always use a base with your eyeshadows, it pops out a lot better. And the base that we used is Rumor 02. So I'm just creating this beautiful smoky eye, if I say so myself. Just lighter on the lighter blue on the crease, deeper blue, like in in the crease add some definition and on the outer corner and then we do an even deeper blue on the outer corner to really form that outer V and a beautiful shimmer shade on the middle. Oh, I love putting a shimmer shade on the lid. It just brings the life to the brings the look to life, not the life to look. I was so tired filming this, which is why I yawned. Haha. <laughs> Sorry. But I love applying shimmer shades with my finger. I feel like it just pops the color a lot more than using a brush. You just get more payoff. It just It's gorgeous. I mean, just look at this shade. Look at this. Then we go in and wipe away any excess and go in with some eyeliner. So this eyeliner is the Night Before Christmas X ColourPop. Then I started the face using the Tatcha the Liquid Silk Canvas Primer. You guys know, tried and true, obviously I love this stuff. Then I'm going in with the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Full Coverage Foundation. And we are applying this everywhere. Everywhere. <laughs> Our skin needed some help today. We were looking a little pale, so we tried to bring her some life. In the end, it made us more pale because this is our winter shade. It is now summer. So then I'm going in with the Cash Beauty Cream Bronzing Stick. This is the Sculpt Stick in Shady Beach. And we're just doing some cream contour. But then I go back in with the Norvina palette. And I take one of the lighter blue shades. And that's what I use to contour my face later. And then I just also take the Fenty Beauty Cream Blush. And of course the One Size Beauty Powder to set all of our cream products. Here I am going in and just setting them and then you'll see in a second that I go in with a big fluffy brush and I apply blue all over my face. Kind of like a mermaid. I really feel like a mermaid in this. So I'm just applying that all over the face to just try and what normally would be bronzing, we were using blue. Then I'm going in with the Kylie blush and this is Batty on the block. I don't want to apply too much but I wanted to give my face a little bit of a rosy glow even though he's blue. And then I use the AOA Perfect Highlight. This highlight is gorgeous. Then I use the Air Volume Mega Mascara from L'Oreal. And of course had to go in with these beautiful Naked Lashes by Ardell. This is by Hard Candy and it is so good. I mean, look at that pigment. You don't need a lot. And like just one swipe is so pigmented. And I thought that blue was perfect for this. Like it just it was. So in case you're wondering, the wig that I'm about to use is from Spirit of Halloween. It's one of their like mermaid wigs. 
And here are the gems that I apply with lash glue. That is my favorite way to apply gems, is using lash glue. And here's the final look. See, I look like a ghost. And this is what I would think Stitch would look like as a human. Super cute. We got the fun hair, blue contour, because you know Stitch is blue, so obviously lots of blue. Blue eyebrows, blue, beautiful, fun look. Because obviously Stitch is very fun. But I always think that he had some professional since he was an agent. So we had to dress professional. I love how this one turned out. I love the eye look. I think this was so much fun. And again, the series is literally just to be creative and to have fun with it. So nothing special. But I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below other characters you'd like me to to do um, and other characters you'd like to see and yeah as always I would love if you would subscribe to the channel and join the family and ring the bell to never miss another video and as always all the products I used will be in the description same with all of my socials I would love to have you on there I love you guys I'll see you in the next one bye